Hi, I'm David Venable, QVC's resident foodie, and my brand new cookbook, Back Around the Table, is over 140 recipes of really wonderful, comfort-inspired dishes that are perfect for busy moms and kid-friendly and great for busy families. If you're thinking about wonderful comfort food, it can come in lots of different shapes and sizes and across lots of themes. Ten individual chapters in the book, I like to say all stand as many cookbooks, so you're really going to find a little something for everyone, and if moms are short on time, probably one of the easiest recipes in the book is my 15-minute mac and cheese. Now, we all know kids love mac and cheese. It was one of my favorites. I like to say I'm the big kid who never grew up, but this particular version is not baked. Now, normally baked mac and cheese can sometimes take up to an hour in the oven. This takes only 15 minutes on your stovetop. And don't worry, moms, I didn't take any shortcuts on this one. No easy melting or processed cheeses. This is all real cheese, five different cheeses in the blend, and you can truly make this in only 15 minutes on your stovetop. So even on a busy weeknight when time is very short and all the kids are super hungry, no worries because this is that perfect mac and cheese that is rib sticking, noodly, cheesy, and oh so kid friendly. So you're going to really love that idea. And then also, if you're looking for some lighter fare moms, I think that's always a nice thing for kids of all ages, there's a whole chapter called Light and Bright. And this particular chapter will include my skinny fried chicken. I take a boneless, skinless breast of chicken, marinate it in a little buttermilk, which is actually lower in fat than whole milk, and then add a little hot sauce, some herbs and spices, and then roll that in cornflakes. Bake it on an elevated baking rack in the oven, and you come away with crispy, wonderful, delicious chicken that tastes like you fried it without all the extra fat and calories, and that's always simple. Now, moms, if you're like my mom growing up, I lived in a single uh, parent family, mom worked full time. If she made pot roast on a Sunday, she used the leftovers on Monday to make many chicken, or in this case, beef pot pies. Really simple, and if time is even shorter, pick up that refrigerated pie crust at the supermarket. It's never a problem to take a shortcut. I give you lots of permission to do that in the book. And then if you're looking for sweets for the kids, and I say kids of all ages, Think about my red velvet cake milkshakes. These are simple, they're easy, and you blend cream cheese in with the ice cream to come away with that traditional red velvet flavor, even down to the cream cheese frosting. And then what kid doesn't love Snicker bars? This kid does. You're going to love the chocolate cookie crust, a layer of chopped Snicker bars across that crust. Then you're going to enjoy a vanilla and chocolate marbled cheesecake, some of the creamy and most delicious moist cheesecake you'll ever eat. Then I top that with fresh whipped topping, Add to that chocolate sauce and caramel sauce, and then more chopped Snicker bars on top. It's all about really bringing together those flavors that we know and understand in food that will really bring families back around the table. Growing up in my house, mom really felt like family dinner time was sacred. Phones went unanswered. We never watched the television, and what we did is actually talked over great, great food. And that's really what I hope this book will be about for you, that all these kinds of dishes will bring your family back around the table for great food, but even more importantly, great memories and wonderful communication.